Hello, everyone, and welcome to this exclusive update of the pitch competition presented by Praella. I'm your host, Louis Ricard, joined by co-founder of SubSummit, John Haji. And we are so delighted to have you here today because we have so many amazing things to go through with you. First, we've invited a few contestants to share their pros, their, their tips about how to pitch virtually in front of a judging panel, how to stand out outside of the 10 other contestants, and how to potentially advance to the final round. And then we'll also dive into the real, the real popcorn, the real nugget here is who gets to advance to the final round of the pitch competition this year and pitch live on the Sub Summit stage on May 31st for a chance to win $50,000. Now, John, you were with me on this very stage two weeks ago, yeah. listening and hearing 10 amazing pitches. What did you make from all this? I mean, well, one, like you just said, 10 amazing pitches. I mean, the one thing that I remember walking away thinking was every single one of those contestants who pitched to us had an amazing story, had an amazing brand, something that I felt could scale really well within the subscription industry. And they were just great people. I mean, there was no one that just stood out to me. It was just uh, an amazing first round of, uh, of contestants that were able to pitch to us. And I know that if it were up to you and I to deliberate on who gets to advance to the final round, we'd still be deliberating. Yeah, we'd still be deliberating. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want that, the pressure of that on my shoulders at all. And that's why we're very thankful for our amazing judges. Two weeks ago, it was Carrie and Lucira of Praella, Britt Schmidt of Bold Commerce, and uh, Michelle Oliver of Hello Subscription. You ladies did a fantastic job asking the tough questions and also giving some great tips to all of our contestants. So thank you for deliberating and telling us which two amazing contestants get on to advance to the final round. But first, I wanna to talk to a couple of contestants about what it's like to pitch virtually, how to separate yourself. And you know, we are very happy to be joined by Bobby DeMars and Stephanie Risto. Bobby was with Blind Barrels, of course. Stephanie was with the Baratrix Society. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so happy to have you here. Uh, Bobby, we'll start with you. How was it prepping for this event? Uh, you know, I enjoyed prepping. I mean, what I did is I went over every pitch video from the last two years. You guys provided links for that. And I studied it. I really objectively looked at what I liked and what I didn't like. And, um, you know, I, I definitely stole from some ones and I'm like, ooh, I like what they did there and uh, or borrowed it uh, is maybe a better term. Yeah. And uh, I really I looked at the judging criteria. I think that was really critical for me in building the outline of what I wanted to get across. So I spent 90 percent of my time watching the videos and then the other 10 percent doing the actual presentation, uh, mainly because, I mean, at this point, I, I, I know the business, you know, that I created pretty well. So it was mainly about making sure I could get everything I need to get in those three minutes. And now looking back at it two weeks uh, following this wonderful event, what did you come away? Are there any tips that our next round uh, contestants can use from you? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, what I liked about a lot of the people that I tried to incorporate into mine was to, number one, be authentic and, and get yourself across. Uh, I think it's really easy to create a PowerPoint and then just kind of hide behind that and, you know, let them see your face, whether it's at the beginning, the middle. I did mine in the middle. Uh, or at the end, make sure that your voice is coming across, you know, be excited. You know, this is your idea. You came up with it. It's unique. There's a reason that you're a semifinalist and that authenticity and that likability, you know, even with investors, the people invest in an idea, but they're always investing in a person. So I looked at the judging in that capacity too. Um, you know, don't be careful. Don't be so careful. You're not gonna make mistakes. And we've all been to that wedding that had the, I remember the weddings that had a mistake in it more than I did the ones that were absolutely perfect. Um, I'd say be careful about information overload. You know, there's you, we've all had that professor that puts these slides up and you're, am I reading or am I listening? And trying to have a balance of having, I'd say more visuals and less information so you can make sure that they're listening to you. And look at the points, look at the criteria. I was kind of thinking about it like, yeah, I want to be Mike Tyson. I want to have a knockout. But I'm really thinking like Mayweather. Mayweather's not going to knock anybody out, but he's going to crush on points. So I looked at the five judging criteria and all the sub aspects, and I made sure I was hitting on all those things so that if there is some tabulation at the end of the day, obviously, you know, um, there's that quantification that comes into play that's qualitative, but I was thinking of the, the quantitative as well. We had, we had Mike Tyson, maybe Stephanie was more like Muhammad Ali style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stephanie, question for you. I, you know, there's so many brands and entrepreneurs out there who um, look at the pitch competition, round one, round two, 
they're on the fence, right? They're they're thinking, should I apply for the pitch competition, right? I was one of those. I was one. <laughs> well, you know, besides thinking about what you said to yourself leading up to that, what would you say to others who are on that edge of applying to the pitch competition? Just do it. Oh, I think I just stole that from Nike. Um, <laughs> but no, it, uh, it the process is really straightforward. It wasn't super cumbersome. And I think uh, owning a small to medium sized business can be such a slog. <laughs> for so much of it. And consolidating all the information about our businesses in this way for the pitch was really fun. It was really, really fun to sit back and be like, ah, I really like this business I created. That's really cool. And then getting to be a part of something with, you know, nine other incredible brands and realizing you're sitting amongst these amazing other business owners is, is a real honor. So it's one of those, you know, there are peaks and valleys in uh, business ownership. And I think um, going for it just creates a peak. So it's, it's worth the time for sure. Kind of to add on what she was saying, I love, you know, there was stats that I didn't know about the company that it kind of forced me to look up and I'm like, oh, this is really cool. And, you know, the lifetime value and, you know, the CAC and little different things that I knew what they were about, but I didn't know the actual numbers. Um, I love the camaraderie, you know, as, as Stephanie was saying, of learning about these other businesses. And, you know, I've actually been in touch with some of them and talking about how we can help give each other tips, because I think there's some you know, camaraderie into that. And look, as a small business owner, you're going to be pitching all the time, um, whether it's a new partnership, whether you're trying to get further distribution or whatever that is. So getting comfortable doing that uh, is pretty pivotal. And, and yeah, getting to know your own business so you can talk about it more comfortably. I love that you all like foster this community amongst yourselves, among those run one applicants. And I hope you can keep sharing, you know, tips with one another, but I don't want you guys to do virtually. Let's do it in person at Sub Summit because all of the semifinalists have been automatically enrolled into our amazing and exclusive Subsummit startup workshop, which will be hosted by Brian McMahon of Expert Dojo. It'll be happening on the first day of Subsummit, and Brian is bringing quite like quite the arsenal with him. He has venture capitalists coming, mm -hmm. marketing mentors. Everyone in that room will be dedicated dedicated to helping you grow and elevate your business. You'll be with some select applicants of the pitch competition with all the semifinalists from round one and round two. And we can't wait to see what that what's going to come out of that room. But you don't need to really hear that from me. Brian actually prepared a little something for you guys. Startups in general have one major problem. It's the growth itself. We wanted to help that folks with that this time around. We thought, why don't we just get some of the smartest minds at the conference into a room and actually try and find all of the aspects of growth. It's going to be a fantastic workshop. We're going to look at all of the growth things that work. We're going to look at the stuff that doesn't work. Expert Dojo ourselves, we're growth hackers. So growth for us is second nature. So every single person who's in that room will walk away with absolute direct benefit and skills to be able to grow their businesses as soon as they leave. Now, if I, I would just apply just for this opportunity, it's completely free. Normally we value it at $1,000 for anyone else, but if you're part of the pitch competition, it's totally free to you. All you have to do is just apply. You might be one of the lucky select applicants, or you can be a semifinalist like Stephanie and Bobby who are with us today. But John, this isn't the only reason we really wanted to bring Stephanie and Bobby onto the stage today, was it? No, it's not. We weren't here just to provide an update. We are here today to let Bobby and Stephanie know that congratulations, you guys are moving forward as finalists in the yeah, 2023 dude, dude. pitch competition. That's so awesome. where you'll be pitching to us live in Dallas, Texas this year. We're talking about $50,000 in cash and prizes. The two of you will be against uh, two other contestants for the, from round two. $10,000 cash, $40,000, $40, I'm so excited I can't even speak, $40,000 in in-kind services. We even have a full website rebuilt for you from our friends at Praella. Um, so quick question, are, are you guys ready? No. Well, that's, no. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm super ready. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Thank you, guys. This is well, so congratulations awesome. I was a little worried. I'm like, are you going to bring me on to give tips and then tell me I'm not a finalist? I was, I'm like, it's okay. I'll, I'll smile through that. I was really no. nervous about my face being on here. I was going forward. All your hard work <laughs> paid off. Um, and you know, just so, just so we're clear as well, like everyone walks out a winner, right? We established that the two of you will go to the final round. 
but everyone has access to this workshop. And for our other amazing eight contestants who participated two weeks ago in round one, we're gonna give you guys 50% off of the Subsummit ticket price. So we're gonna take that $999 price right now, we're gonna take it all the way down to less than 500. So that discount is available to everyone who participated in round one. Obviously the two of you don't have to take out your wallet because you're coming for free. Uh, we're gonna take care of all of your needs at Subsummit in Dallas. So yeah, you can just focus on the pitch on blowing away our judges' minds with your amazing businesses. How does it feel to be a finalist of this event? I mean, I'm really excited. By the way, congrats, Stephanie. I, I, I love your pitch too. So virtual high five. I'll see you on the stage. We'll yeah, I'll see you on the stage. stage. But, but I was I was there last year, you know, the first time, and I got to watch it firsthand. And and uh, I was going like, oh, I didn't because I didn't know about the pitch at that point. I literally found about the conference maybe like three four weeks before it. And so I was like, I did set a goal to to pitch for that and uh, to accomplish it. Feels awesome. Super excited. And oh. Stephanie, you spoke oh. at Sub Summit last year. Now you're going to yes. speak again, but to pitch your business a little different, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'll i be speaking at Sub Summit again this year. So I'm gonna be running around like crazy. I am so excited. I, I'm a little bit stunned. Uh, there were a lot of really incredible submissions and being part of that 10, like I said, was such a big honor. Um, I will be very nervous to be up on that stage. I'll be honest with you. It's a little bit different when I'm up there like teaching email marketing than, uh, like bearing my soul about my business. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm uh, overwhelmed with gratitude. And like Bobby said last year, whenever I saw the pitch competition, I said, I'm going to do that next year. So uh, it feels really good. <laughs> we are so glad you took that step and applied because all it takes is an application and you can feel this way as well. So if you're watching this live and if you're wondering, well, I'm just in a startup phase, like what can I do to get extra funding and not give up any equity? This is the place to do it if you're in the direct to consumer subscription space. You can ask Stephanie, you can ask Bobby. It's as easy of an application process as it comes. We will tell you if you're selected, you're hop on on the virtual stage and hang out with John and myself. And all you have to do is share your story, share your passion. And if you are compelling enough to the judges, you will have the chance to win $50,000 in cash and prizes. We're gonna drop the QR code to apply to round two at the end of this video. But once again, Bobby and Stephanie, we just wanna congratulate you on an amazing first round. Now you can come back and hang out with us for round two and just hang out, see the competition. Yes, awesome. give some intimidating faces. <laughs> exactly. All right, you guys, we'll see you in Dallas. Thanks guys. Bye. Back again. Thank Bye. you.